Hey guys, welcome to week four of boot camp. We're going to do legs, chest and biceps today. Now the leg work is going to be no repeat, so we're going to do 10 exercises of it, 40 seconds of each, 20 seconds in between, so I can give a demonstration and you guys can get ready. And we're going to start with the legs to begin with. So we're going to start in 20 seconds with a goblet squat. You've done these before. We pop the dumbbell up underneath the chin and we squat nice and low. So back straight, eyes front. Feet hip width apart, lowering our butt down, nice and low, keeping the eyes facing forward. And we're going to go in three, two, one, and away we go. So don't rush these, just aim to get good depth here. And stop, okay. Up next, we got a chair bridge. So, I'm gonna use a chair for this one. Gonna lie flat on the back. And pop the heels onto the chair. And we're gonna bridge up as high as we can and down nice and slow, okay? So, gauging the glutes, hamstring, and lower back. And away we go. Just lift those hips up as high as you can. So you got a nice ski slope going from the knee right down to the head. And try not to get your feet planted on the edge of the seat. Try and get the heels dug in to the flat part of the seat. So we're not relying on those quads to raise us up into position. Up. Good job. Okay. Up next, we got a back lunge. We're going to take our dumbbells. We're going slightly heavier this week with the dumbbells, all right, than we have in previous week. We're going back lunge and we're going with the right leg. And let's go. We're just going to stick with the right leg. And like I said, I've been using lighter weights up to this point. If you've got heavier weights at your disposal. Let's go up a few pounds or a few kilograms. Try and work a little bit harder. This is the last week of the boot camp. But if you don't have heavier weights, just use what you've got. You'll still get a good workout. And stop. Now we're going to go on to the other side, on the left leg. Go on 10 seconds. And away we go. And stop. Okay, up next we got a single leg stiff leg deadlift. So we're going to plant the right foot on the ground, raise the left foot one inch, and we're going to lower the weights towards the floor, keeping the back flat and straightening out the left leg. And slow and control. Try not to let the foot hit the floor, and if it does, don't let it rest there. Trying to fire up your glutes and your hamstrings. Stabilize. And you 
can't rush these. Nice and slow. And stop. Now we're going to shake it off. Then we're going to go on to the other side. So, you might have one side better balanced than the other. But, just try and stabilize, find your focus. And away we go. Again, don't rush these, take your time. And stop, okay. Up next, we've got side lunges, so goblet squat position. We're gonna lunge out to the right, back to the middle, and then lunge out to the left. So dumbbell up just underneath the chin. Lunging out to the right in three, two, one, and go. Down nice and deep. Keeping legs straight as we lunge down so we get a good stretch going on in the inner thigh. And stop, so same position for the next one. We're going to go into a curtsy lunge. So we're going to go right leg first with this one. So we take our right leg, we go behind, knee to touch the floor, and back, and we repeat, same side, and away we go. And stop, shake it off. Now we're going to go on to the left. So, tuck that dumbbell underneath the chin. Right foot planted, left foot doing the moving. In five, four, three, two, one. And go. And stop. Now, last leg exercise. It's going to be squat thrusts. Now, this is hateful. So, go at your own pace for this one. We bring our left knee down to the ground. And we're going to transfer it over and bring our right knee down to the ground. So, right angle between hamstring and calves and both legs. And away we go.
and stop. Whew. Now, we're gonna take a quick breather, grab a drink, and then we're gonna hit the chest, and it's gonna be five exercises done twice. So, grab your dumbbells, grab a drink, let's get back here and do it again. Okay, guys, now, we're under the chest, so you're gonna need a chair handy for this one, all right? We're gonna start with some uh, push-ups with our feet on the chair. I'm gonna use the dumbbells for this, okay? So I'm not putting all the pressure on the wrists. So I'm gonna be doing the push-up from the dumbbells, okay? So I'm gonna start with these in 20 seconds. So get yourself in position. And slightly more in shoulder width apart. Get your feet up onto the chair. Keeping a high plank, keep it nice and controlled, keeping the core engaged, and away we go. And stop. Good job. Okay. Up next, we got chest fly. I've done this in previous weeks, but hopefully you got a little bit heavier with your dumbbells today. So it feels a little tougher. So dumbbells up in position. We're gonna lower them down and bring them in to squeeze those packs in the middle. And let's go. And stop. Okay. Up next we've got crossovers. So I'm gonna grab the dumbbells. Really gonna squeeze the packs here on this one. Keeping the arms straight. We're going each side. Really flexing the pack during each rep. Three, two, one, and go. So if you're doing this one correctly, you should really be and the pectoral muscle. So you got a really tight squeeze on with each rep. Very easy to cheat this one. Disengage the packs and just move your arms from side to side. But that's pointless. So really try and focus on what you're trying to do here. Squeeze those packs. And relax now. Up next, we're going to do a decline press. So we're going to pop our feet on the chair. We're going to come up into the bridge and do a chest press from this position. Okay, keeping that bridge strong throughout, and away we go. And stop, good job. Final chest exercise is a pinch press. Now when we do the pinch press, we're gonna take our thumbs over the top of the handle. So we're squeezing the dumbbell with our palms. We lower it down in line with the sternum and press back up, squeezing those pecs. Make sure that thumb's over the handle 
And away we go. Deep breath in the way down. Breathe out as you press up and again. It's the palms pressed together. It automatically engages the pecs. So if you put your thumb underneath the handle, you're gonna lose that and the dumbbell's just gonna rest in those thumbs and we don't want that. And stop. Okay, so that's our five exercises done. Now we're back to the first one and our push ups using the chair. So get the dumbbells slightly more in shoulder width apart. Get your feet up onto the chair. High plank engaged, and away we go. Up. Okay, back to the chest flies. So on your back. Dumbbells up. I'm gonna lower them down nice and slow. And away we go. And stop, up and come, back to crossovers. Hopefully your chest got a good pump on at this stage. And three, two, one, let's go. And stop. Now we go decline press. So we'll get up in the bridge position, holding it, and we'll press up to meet in the middle. Let's go. And stop. Now we're going to do a pinch press. Now, squeezing that dumbbell with the palms, thumbs over the handle. Breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. 
And away we go. And stop. Now, I originally said we're going to do that twice, but I think there's a little bit more juice left in the Zeus, so let's go again, huh? Why not? So, let's get back into the push up position on the chair. So, feet on, high plank, and away we go. Up. Good job, now we're back to the chest flies. So, dumbbells up. Get ready to lower them. And away we go. And stop, up we come. Into the crossovers. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And stop, we're back, decline, press. So, feet on the still. And we're gonna raise up into a bridge. And let's go. Up. And up next we got our pinch press. Last one, I promise, is the last lap of these. So, dumbbell in position, squeeze between the palms, packs engaged. 
Uh, let's go. On stop. Oh, so hopefully you got a good pump on your chest right now, guys. Take a little breather, 30 seconds, grab a drink, then we're gonna hit those biceps. Okay, guys, on the bicep curls, it's gonna be something similar to what we've done in previous weeks with the isometric hold. But again, we're gonna try and go a little heavier today. We've got five exercises coming up, and we're gonna do it three times. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a double arm isometric holds. So we're gonna get those bicep curls up and we're gonna hold it here flex. So they're gonna be pretty exhausted before we even do a single rep here. So grab your dumbbells, get them up. Okay, keep the elbows tucked in by the side but don't rest them on your hips. You're gonna bring those dumbbells up so your bicep is flexed and you're gonna hold it here for 40 seconds. Stay nice and still, keep the core engaged and bicep is flexed, so try not to rest it. Try not to bring it too high up so it's resting on your collarbone. Try not to dig the heel into the hip so it's rested on there. This is all biceps holding the weight. And stop, okay, so let me give it a quick shake out before we go on to the next one. This time we're gonna hold the left one flexed and we're gonna curl with the right one, okay? So, get the lactic acid out of the muscles and get ready to rock. So, hold the left one flexed and we're going in three, two, one, and up we go. Slow and controlled, don't rush it. And stop, give it a quick shake out. Okay, so this time we're gonna hold the right one flex. We're gonna wrap with the left. Again, just let those arms dangle a little bit. And let's get the blood flowing to them again. Okay, so up and flex with the right and curl them with the left in three, two, one, and away we go. So first lap may seem easy enough. Second lap is going to get pretty tough. Third lap, well, you'll see. And stop, now let those arms dangle, shake them out a little, get the lactic acid flushed out. And then we're gonna go double arm bicep curls with this one. So both at the same time, no isometric hold, just slow and controlled. And three, two, one, let's go.
front stop quick shake out then we're going to go hammer curl so heads of the dumbbells going straight up again just use this rest time here give the arms a wiggle get ready to go with the hammer curls in three two one and go And stop. Okay, set them down. Give the arms a good shake out. We're going back to the start here. With the isometric hold with both. This one's going to get tight. Biceps should be feeling a good pump. Let's grab them. Let's get them up. Raise them. Hold and flex for 40. Let's go. Burn going on the biceps right now. And stop. Oh, give those arms a quick shake out. Up next, we're going to hold the left arm flex and wrap with the right. And stop. Oh, set them down, give them a shake. Gonna hold the right one up flexed and wrap with the left next. Okay, so right one flexed and three, two, one. Let's get wrapping. And stop. And I'm dying, shake it off. Double arm bicep curls coming up. Hopefully you guys are feeling the burn like mine are right now. Okay, time's up, let's get back to it. Okay, double arm bicep curls. Three, two, one, and go. It's important, keep the wraps controlled. Don't swing them up, don't arch the back. Start with the arms straight, curl them up just past your chest. It's going to be hard right now to maintain good form, but really, really focus on squeezing the biceps here.
on stuff. Armor curls coming up next. After this lap, I think we'll take a little mini breather here. Get those arms flushed out for the last set. So, armor curls coming up in three, two, one, and go. And stop. Okay, so we're going to take a 30 second breather here. And I have a quick stretch. Okay, so you guys stay with me. All right, we're going to stretch out the biceps here on the floor. Bring your right arm out, out to the side, head facing the opposite direction. Push the shoulder down towards the ground, hold it there. Uh, stop, swap on to the other side. So a little unscheduled break here guys, but if you're anything like me, those biceps will be absolutely fried. And rather than rush through and get a sloppy third lap here, give them a little time. <sighs> Keep the reps good and controlled for the third and final set. Okay, so we're back to it. All right, last set. So hopefully that little time out there is going to give us just enough time to recover. So we got another good set left in us. Good lap, sorry. So we get ready to do the ISO hold with both dumbbells. Up we go, flex and hold, hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop, shake it off. So we're on the left next, and left one's holding the flex. Okay, right one's doing the reps. Okay, so up and flex with the left. And three, two, one, get repping. And stop. Down, shake it out. Next, we're going to hold the right one flex while we wrap with the left. Yeah, guys, no shame here. I'm struggling. It's tough. So at least you know I'm human and it works. Okay, so get the right one up flex and wrap it on the left in three, two, one, and go. Stop, shake it off. Now we got our double arm ones up, Max. 
Whew. Okay, nearly done. So, grab the dumbbells, double arm bicep curls in three, two, one, and away we go. And stop. Oh, one last shake off. Last set, hammer curls coming up. And five, four, three, two, one. And let's go. Halfway there, 20 seconds left, and we're done. And stop. Whoa. I'm glad to say that is us done. Hopefully you got a hell of a pump on in the biceps and a hell of a pump on the chest. So join me back here tomorrow for more of the same.